hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to today's video in case you are new here please feel much welcome to all my returnees thank you for always coming back i'm in the living room i want to start this video here i want to answer one of the most asked question in my dm uh, most 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 of you have been asking me how i managed to maintain my deco pieces the deco pieces on my table because like i said i have two boys and they're quite cheeky but i maintain them because si jawai bunja any so this is one of the most asked question and i want to answer it now so let's get into the video so guys as you can see clearly uh the deco pieces are gold in color i don't know if gold is a color but they are gold and they are glass and i can say i've never broke any just that there was a glass here that my son's friend Alivunja in the course of playing, but it's okay with babies. I try as much as possible to train my sons on not touching glass. So guys, those are my deco pieces. And I can say for my sons, especially the elder one, how is he? Trust me on that. Like he can never, never, never at all. How is he, Bunja? he will never but for the younger one i'm still training him on not to touch them because my younger son is one year three months my elder son is four years three months and for my elder son i trained him like not to touch because when i got these things he was two years old and at least we could converse so i told him Usishike because it's bad zitavunjika and ever since he just knows nikishika vitu za mom they will break and for my younger son it's quite a struggle because ndio anajifunza like he doesn't know how to speak so well because he's quite young but i'm trying as much as possible to 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 let him understand that they are bad like it's not okay to touch them and I cannot say that I do beat them because Hawajawai Vunja so far. And yeah, that's how I manage. Also, guys, I want to back for the very first time. I want to try backing. And please note that I've never backed anywhere all my life. I have never even attempted. But uh, I feel like I've watched so many YouTubers. They do try and the outcome is amazing. So why not me? So on this day, I want to try baking and please wish me well. I hope everything goes well. So let me go show you my ingredients, then head straight into baking. These are the ingredients that I'm going to use. And as you can see on this paper, I've been writing the procedure and the ingredients that I'm going to use. I've just, I had to watch varieties of the video, but I decided let me try on this one because it is the most easiest I've come across but before that I want to show you my cooker I want to give you its features it's a 60 by 60 it's black and silver in color it has three gas knobs and one electric plate and these four knobs that the one when you want to cook anything on top it's von hot point and this knob number one two and three that the ones you use when you want to light this one this one and this one uh bear with me i'm actually holding my phone with my bare hands i'm not using a ring light then on this one it's when you want to use the electric plate like you have to turn it on if you want to like if you want it to cook so fast you'll keep changing the you'll have to keep changing and changing maybe up to you will have to keep changing sorry i think i was saying something wrong number one two three let's say unatakai pika araka you like the heat to be too much you can put it up to here or here or here or here like you can just have to turn it again and again and these three knobs that the ones to be used when you want to use the oven this first knob is for the time it's the timer knob this one is for calculating your temperature or it will depend with the amount of temperature you want to use and this one is the one that 
um how do i say this one is the one that determines on what you're going to bake or rather grill so for this middle knob it has these four features it has these four features like this first feature allow me use a knife to explain like this first feature as you can see clearly it has these two lines this means your heat will be coming from top and bottom then for these this indicates that your heat will be coming from up this one indicates that your heat will be coming from bottom and this one uh it's the one that let's say it's the rotating knob N not the rotating knob like something that it's kind of rotating maybe if you want to grill your chicken you'll have to put the knob to here that way then for this one it's the one to be used when like i've said it's the temperature knob so let's hit the cooker first as i show you the how i'll mix my ingredients as you can see the cooker is on i'm not so sure if you can see clearly but that is it the cooker is on let me switch it off and explain to you the 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 functions of these compartments that are inside uh, for this one it's the one that you place your baking pans or baking trays but you'll have to put it on the lower side because then for this one let's say maybe you want to make to make your potato potato wedges or maybe let's say you want to bake your pizza if at all it's, it's baked or whatever you want to place it here maybe you want to bake your ground nuts you'll place this on this black tray then for this one it's the one that actually for these this tool it's the one that you use with this this thing here you will like put your let's say you want to grill your chicken i had to hold it this way guys uh for this one let's say you want to grill your chicken you will remove this this thing here then you will place your chicken to hold this like we don't hapa then you will place your chicken ikishashika hapa you return this you will return this up to kule kuyako imefika let's say it's this like your chicken is this big so you make sure these sharp these sharp ends they may hold the cuckoo then you will place it let me show you how you will place it you will place your chicken here you will make sure that this knob in a shika hapa and over here there is this hole let me attach it there so that you can understand maybe for those who don't know like it's a shika hapo ivo here and so this is how it will look like this one is just to help you hand, like we shake when because of course in the process of baking this part becomes so hot so this one is just to help you avoid direct contact with the too much heat of course you will place it you will turn your knob here let's say the timer is 30 minutes and the temperature is at 80 As you can see it's moving if you can see clearly that carpet is rotating and so that's how you grill your chicken this is the function of that string upon any these are the ingredients that I'm going to use guys there is some flour here some sugar some margarine some milk I've boiled it kidogo some some salt some vanilla essence some baking powder some milk here and of course this is the procedure that i was talking about i'm going to make a vanilla cake and some measuring cups though i'm not so sure the if i'm if i'm not so sure if i'm going to use the measuring cups but let's see i do not have a mixer like i've said it's my first time trial it's my first trial and i'm going to blend everything in this blender so let's start 
The first thing I did, of course, was to set up the blender. Please wish me well. This is my first, first, first trial, like I've said. And I hope everything turns out well. You know, it is always good to try out something rather than assuming it's hard. With my procedure here, the first thing that I'll do is add some margarine in the... Add some margarine in the blender. My hands are clean, don't judge. I will then add some milk. I will blend it. And then add in the ends and again blend. Once it's ready, I will add some pinch of salt, just a pinch. pinch of salt, one tablespoon of vanilla essence, though I've not measured, I'm just using my own, I'm just using my bare eyes to measure. Before I add in the flour guys, uh, allow me preheat my cooker because I just realized that I've not preheat my cooker and that's what I want to do then we, we continue with the blending of the flour and whatever. I've just realized that I kept on saying my cooker instead of my oven, please bear with me. I didn't even realize that was the case. And the funny thing, I didn't even preheat my cooker, my oven here. I don't know what I was doing, but anyway. Once I'm done with the baking powder, I will add one and a quarter cups of flour. Wait. I've not even added sugar. Let me add some sugar first because now I need how. So if you're watching this and you're a baker, you can comment down below if I'm willing to learn, of course. And if you're watching this and you know how to bake, give me some recipes in the comment section. I will learn. I am very much ready very very much ready i will then blend again i'm 
I'm going to use my superior because I don't have a baking pan. I will add the flour in the superior. I'm using a front camera. I then placed it in the oven so that it could bake and I was going to bake it for 40 to 45 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius and of course the heat was going to come from up and down. The funny thing is that I wasn't preheating my oven and that is okay for a first time learner. I can't complain. Where you go, I go to And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you Let's take it slow Who cares where we gotta be You know you'll have a good time wherever you're with me Let's take it Did you realize I wasn't even preheating the cooker Sijui Nilieka the timer instead of the temperature and unfortunately the cooker hypo may preheat but anyway let's hope for the best I then came to the living room so that I could catch up with some of my fellow youtubers and the mood was so calm the mood was very quiet the environment was so cool my babies were not in my hubby was not in and i felt this was the best time for me to watch because when my my sons are in ina kuanga kuvutana na remote because they want to watch kokomelo and i want to do my own things I then came to check if everything was coming up so well and oh my goodness, I couldn't wait for the final outcome. It was about 6 p.m. and I had to draw the curtains. I know it's quite early, but I had to do so because lately there are more mosquitoes around and I didn't want them to invade my place. Who cares where we gotta be? You know you'll have a good time wherever you The first 45 minutes were done by this time, so I was just checking my cake if it's fully baked. And I see people use a toothpick or something sharp, they insert it and I tend to assume like if it comes kind of still wet, that means your cake had no, has not yet fully baked. And this was the case for mine, so I had to return it and add some more extra 20 minutes. The first 45 minutes are done, but my cake is not baked so well, so I've added like 20 and I'm crossing my fingers that it's a tokapoa because I can't imagine the disappointment. I just cannot imagine the disappointment. So I'm not so sure if if maybe you are baking and it comes out not so ready if you again add the like you add the nini the minute i'm not so sure of that but i'm trying i'm trying and please comment down below and let me know if that is the case maybe if you're a baker or you've ever attempt you've attempted baking before if maybe you are baking and it comes out like hijiva poor if at all you have to add some more minutes because i don't know i don't know this was 20 minutes later and I just come to check if my cake was ready by this time.
so this is the final outcome and clearly you can just look and tell the outside was very crunchy even though the inside was quite it was very hot in fact not even quite hot but i am good to go i can highly say that practice makes perfect and i will keep on trying trying and trying until things get better i'll be placing the cake on the plate so that i can allow it to cool before we enjoy it with my family how can you rate me on a scale of 10 please let me know if i've done it so well or maybe kuna kule nimeumanje please comment down below and let me know I'm so happy. So so happy, guys. Baker for hire. This is our cake finally. And it's so yummy. It's so delicious. I will let it cool, then store it later. How I wish, how I wish. How I wish, sing a wake chumvi, but it's okay. The cake, the cake has come out perfectly fine and I am happy. First time trial and everything is okay. So I'll keep trying and trying and trying. Of course, practice makes perfect. And I'm pretty sure in the next few months to come, maybe I'll be baking some for my family. Of course, I can't say that for birthdays, I'm not that, I'm not a pro, but for my family, I'm good to go. So that is it. This is the next morning and I wanted to prepare some breakfast. We were going to take some plantains and some sausages. Of course, with some tea. I will shallow fry them on low heat. Then the same pan I'll use to make the sausages.
this was the final turnout of our breakfast and it was so yummy and we really enjoyed it i had to clear this space after the breakfast and also do the few dishes because there were not so many i accidentally broke one of my my jar that is the vinegar jar and i'll be replacing it in few days to come So guys we've come to the end of the video i will wrap it at this point and i hope you've enjoyed see you on my next one bye